Yeah, we're going to look at this national TV game at 9.30 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. It is the Summit League Championship game. Not, not necessarily the two highest profile teams on the board, but it's as, as important as any game because it is a win and get in, go home otherwise for these two squads. And South Dakota State's going to get the win in this one. It really comes down to do they cover a uh, win by more than 10 points. I think they do, but I also want to look at the total in this game as well. I would lean South Dakota State. They've won 9 of the 10 over the last several seasons in the series. They are obviously the dominant team, and it's also a tough spot for Denver as the underdog. Coming off back-to-back straight-up underdog wins, they were a six-point dog on Saturday, and then they were a pick em on uh, Sunday, actually on Friday and Sunday. And uh, this looks like a difficult situation here. I'm sorry, Saturday and Monday. Today is Tuesday. I'm already confused. March mm-hmm. Madness is throwing off my calendar. But the point is, mm-hmm. they're lucky to be in the finals, whereas South Dakota State's had an easier road uh, easy 16-point win on their Saturday game and then a 10-point win uh, last night. So I look for them to be the more rested team. Denver likes to play extremely fast, and I just don't think that's going to work having your third game in four nights. This is not something college kids are used to. I know the NBA teams do it, but these are college kids who are not used to it, and I really think it hurts a team that likes to play fast when they're playing unrested in third time in four nights. So I like South Dakota State here, minus a 10. And by the way, the only game they've lost in those last 10, and I mentioned they're 9-1 straight up, was a bit of a misleading loss. It was earlier this season, Jack, January 13th at Denver. They lost by 19 points as a road favorite, three-and-a-half-point road favorite. But as is often the case, it was extreme three-point shooting for the upset for Denver. They made 14 of 29. South Dakota State only made six. So that means Denver was plus 24 points from three in that 19-point home win upset. And as expected, South Dakota State got their revenge a month later on February 22nd, won easily the most recent meeting by 27 at home as a nine-point favorite. I think they went in double-digit range tonight. I would also lean towards the under. Both teams like up-tempo, but as I mentioned, third game in four nights, back-to-back, no rest situation. I don't think that pace is going to work as well, especially for the underdog. And we've seen a massive move on this total. It opened as high as 163, down to 155 and a half. So I like the favorite. And I like the under at 930 Eastern. And don't forget, my top play tonight comes in the NBA. I also have a free NBA play. So two NBA plays tonight, a best bet and a bonus free play. SteveMerrillWagerTalk.com.